welcome back or welcome if you're new i'm back out again today with the k3 mark III, and what i'm doing today is i am out with the camera to find out what firmware 2.01 entails and if you haven't seen my initial impressions of out and with this camera at the motocross which was actually the enduro last time it was meant to be the motocross pretty much the same thing then i'll leave a link to that video in the description and check that one out what i'm doing today is i'm wanting to compare what i initially thought of the autofocus system in this camera and a few other little details to the new the new stuff that's in the the new firmware update i'll be finding out for myself everything that's new any new menus any new settings doing that all today i've uh, had no pre sort of <laughs> pre outings with it if you if that's the the right word for it but yes we're here at the motocross track it should be a good day i'm here a little bit early because i want to find some nice spots it's really warm today end of september we're having a heat wave here in the uk it's apparently going to be 29 degrees today which is bizarre at this time of year we've also got some sediment some like dust in the sky that's being brought over from god knows where but it's here all the cars have uh are filthy it's like being in spain and you can see it's quite hazy today so but yes k3 and obviously the 55 to 300 plm is the weapon of choice for today and we're going to go over this autofocus tracking capabilities and everything that they've in implemented in firmware version 2.01 okay so what i really want to be looking at today in the camera is the autofocus tracking in afc We've got type one, type two, and type three. And these are to do with the, the different variations that the, the camera can track and use the autofocus sensor as well as the AE sensor, I believe. Just off a quick look at the menu there. And the other thing that I wanna have a look at is the actual sensitivity of the um, autofocus system in AFC. And we've got five different options from one, being the camera is not as sort of on the ball it's not as sensitive it's more for objects that move but are pretty much stationary but can move and going up to number five that's for erratic subjects which i believe are coming towards you so that's uh, going to be interesting today and we've got a lot of points around this track that we can actually implement that and see how it deals with with the riders the bikes coming towards you at speed and um, we might have to put it into the high frames per second today just to see how it deals with that with how many images you can get in focus as the rider comes directly towards you i do know that on my 7d mark ii there's a lot of different options for this the autofocus sensitivity so it'll be pretty interesting in a future video to compare this to the 7d mark ii and um, just see how far Pentax have come with this camera because I've done a video where I compare the Pentax K3 to the 7D Mark II over those sort of parameters um, for sports photography, for motocross photography and I'll leave the, the links to those videos in, in the comments, uh, the description, sorry, of this one but as for now, today, I'm going to be flitting through the day between the different variations, as I say, the, the Type 1 to Type 3 and the also the sensitivity settings from one to five and i'm going to just be trying all all the different combos and give my thoughts on that and see if i can notice any difference okay so i found the scene here which is going to help demonstrate the autofocus trackability of the subjects coming straight towards you as you can see it's um slightly backlit at the moment but we've got the corner where the riders are coming out of down here and then they're going to come straight towards me over this jump and I'm going to have the camera in high frame rate, so, you know, the highest frame rate that it's going to, going to do in shooting raw. And we're going to try and track the riders coming directly towards us. So the autofocus point tracking in AFC, I'm starting off at type 1. And the focus sensitivity in AFC, I'm going to put on number 3. So it's pretty much mid-ground from what I've uh, gathered. Thank you. 
Okay, so now we're on to the second test. Well, it's the same test, but the second set of parameters. And what we're going to be doing is using type 3, which is the intensive tracking, and number 5 on the sensitivity. So, you know, this should bear the best results for fast moving subjects coming straight towards you. And I've moved scenes. This is side lit. We've got a corner down there, a berm, where the rise is coming up straight directly towards the camera up here. We've got the sun, you can see it's over me, me shoulder here. So I'm backlit. The, uh, the riders are side lit because the, the light's facing that way. Nothing scientific, it's just a real world test. As you know, that's all I uh, really do. We don't need to be scientists around here, we want real world results. So here's a demonstration. Riders coming up straight towards the camera. And that's where we'll end it. We'll end it when they get as close to the corner, this corner, as possible. I'm hoping that we're going to pretty much get every image in focus. You know, this might change, there's variations, obviously light conditions, shutter speed, all that good stuff. Obviously the, the speed of the riders are travelling, there's different variations in their speed. Um, the, the cloud cover is in and out. But again, this is real world, this is what you want to see, it's at least what I want to see. So, let's get to it. So now it's time to test out the final set of parameters. Now I know I did say that I was going to use type 1 for this, but I'm actually going to change it. I'm actually going to change it to type 2, because that only uses the AF. It doesn't use the AF, se uh, AF sensor and the AE sensor. So we're going to see what this looks like. And we're obviously going to be on number 1 on the, the other set of parameters, on the sensitivity set of parameters. And again, we've got riders coming straight towards us out of the corner, backlit scene. There's no frontlit scenes really that I can find that uh, the riders are heading directly towards me. That would have been ideal. But this is really putting the autofocus system under, under stress, I suppose, because with the riders being backlit, it's not as obvious for the camera to grab uh, the focus because of the contrast situation. If they were frontlit, it would be different. I'm taking a lot of photos, even in these short bursts today, I'm already at 200 and something. This is the reason why I don't like using high um, frames per second, like 12 frames, 10 frames. I like timing my shots because, as you can see, I've been at the track for 20 minutes, half an hour now, and I've already got 250 shots. We're probably, we're probably going to end up with another 100 or so here. So, uh, Event photography. So let's get to this. So we're going to review those images, a lot of images. I, I only took three sets, three bursts in each different set of parameters, but it's left me with a lot of, a lot of photos. <laughs> so now I'm going to carry on for the rest of the day using the camera, switching between the different types and the intensity levels, one to five and just get a general feel for it. Again, this is my first time out with it, with the firmware update, so I won't really know until I get home what the results are, the same as you guys watching. So, just for a little recap, what we did was shoot in type one, and in number three on the sensitivity, which was the standard setting first, then moved over to the intensity, really intense setting, which was type three, and number five on the sensitivity, which should yield the best results of riders coming towards you. 
And then I did say that I was going to use type 1 with type type 1 and number 1, but after reviewing the description of the types, I thought type 2 would be the best case for this. So what I did was use type 2 and number 1, which is the least um, sensitive for riders coming towards you. That's more for like slow moving, I'm assuming. But until next time, I'm out. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.